Hi folks, Max from Nexus7Root.com for this week's ROM of the week. To check out C-ROM, it is time to supercharge your phone with the latest Android 4.4.4 and a custom ROM that will make your Nexus 7 faster than ever. Um, very nice ROM. It's got, uh, one of the things I really like about this ROM is that uh, it's got a nice mix of features, customization. Uh, first of all, you'll get a floating window working out of the box, floating windows. Um, this is actually the first time I tried it on my uh, tablets and uh, you know I'm used to using my Note 10.1 because it already has multi-window uh, but uh, this works actually nearly flawless um, you can have you know multiple floating windows and have it fully multitasking just like a Note 10.1 which I really like and uh, this isn't the only ROM that has it um, there's a lot of AOSP ROMs that have this feature and I believe this is actually from the Paranoid Android. Uh, but I prefer this ROM because I want some more customization. But Paranoid Android is awesome ROM also, by the way. Uh, but look at how smooth it is running uh, with a multi-window. Uh, let me go ahead and exit out. And uh, that's come standard right there. Um, also, if you go into interface here, uh, you'll find a ton of customizations. You'll be able to... Uh, uh, change your power menu, add your uh, screenshots, you can add screen recording, all that good stuff. Um, you'll be able to customize uh, your system animations if you want. Uh, if you swipe to the right here, um, you'll be able to uh, customize your recent panel, um, which is this right here. And uh, you can change um, the clear all button position, like you don't want it bottom right, you can have it uh, bottom right there then you'll have the button right there which is nice um, shake events I don't think you would use this too much but basically if you shake it this way up and down um, you can have it launch your favorite apps uh, you can have this uh, ROM running in phone mode if you want to um, change the LCD density uh, lower higher play with it all that good stuff status bar um, this is pretty standard stuff here a lot of customization there lock screen uh, one of the things I really like about lock screen is the lock screen notification, enable notifications. And uh, when you turn on your uh, tablet, you'll be able to see your notification. And also you'll be able to click on it or swipe it to actually see the notifications. Uh, but you can see how fast it is running. The UI is pretty, pretty nicely fast. Also active display, widgets, um, all of that stuff you can play with. Uh, Pi controls if you want it. Make sure you set the trigger, trigger to the right or left. Uh, if you're right-handed, obviously you want to go to the right, and it should trigger. There we go. Uh, if you sw swipe in from the right there, um, that's kind of nice. Uh, also, if you go to sidebars tab here, you can get app circle bar. Um, this is actually my preferred method over Pi controls now. Uh, if you click on the edges, right, like right here, you'll be able to launch your favorite apps um, easily, uh, which is very nice, and you can include all of your favorite apps there. Very easy to use. Uh, I think a lot easier to use uh, than Pi. And also Omni Switch, similar to um, Pi Controls and App Circle Bar, uh, you can do. Uh, but those are just a couple of things you can do. Also, you have a performance menu if you want to um, uh, you know, use a custom kernel. But I don't really see a need for this uh, custom kernel on this ROM. It is super fast. Uh, and uh, on the Nexus 7 original, it is very laggy if you don't uh, tweak it a little bit, just because there's hardware limits on the original Nexus 7. It's the CPU just sucks in comparison to the 2013. Uh, but I was able to make it run pretty fast. Um, this is actually pretty zippy. And what we can do is go into settings. Everything else is the same. Go into settings, go to performance, and uh, raise your minimum speed a little bit. Um, you can even set it to like 760 or something. Um, you know, instead of the default zero or 50 mega, megahertz or whatever, set it to like 500 megahertz or higher. Now this will definitely drain uh, battery more on your Nexus 7, um, but it does make everything faster and also you're not, you know, overclocking uh, the Nexus 7. But I will be overclocking it soon. There's a kernel I've been testing, but uh, just, you know, um, I'm still testing it, but uh, I should have that next week. Uh, but it is zippy after that slight change. Um, your battery might not last long, as long, but uh, you know the good thing is the Nexus 7, both Nexus 7s have really good battery life, so I don't think it will affect it that much, you know? 
And plus, this is not a device you need to take calls and stuff. So um, definitely make that change and it will make everything really, really fast. Uh, but overall, C-Dash Realm is a good combination of stuff you can do, uh, especially the floating multi-windows. I really like it. Um, I know there's some great uses for this uh, and it is working flawless and fast. This is the fast I've seen it actually working. Um, a lot of the smartphone versions are slow or just hard to tap, but uh, it's easy to tap. You can actually access all the buttons here. Um, so definitely looking really good. And again, it is available for some of the other uh, custom ROMs, which I'll also be trying this week. Um, but uh, that's it. Just try out the, uh, the C-Dash ROM for both the Nexus 7 um, 2013 and the original Nexus 7. Now note for original Nexus 7 owners, make sure you're using the latest version, uh, CWM version 6.0.4.3 or higher or TWR version, I think 2.6.3.3 or higher. I'll have instructions on how to update your TWRP or clock mod recovery uh, before installing this ROM. Uh, if you're coming from an older, older ROM than uh, if you've never updated to KitKat yet. Uh, that's about it folks and uh, I will see you guys soon. Um, as always, stay high on Android and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at nexus7root.com and I will see you guys soon. Yeah.